What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 15 update. And guys, today, EA Sports revealed the ratings for the top strong safeties in Madden NFL 15. These are the first attributes that will be given to the uh, to the players as soon as the game is launched. So these are the top five strong safeties that we will see right away, right out of the gate. And I think that for the most part, the list is pretty good. I think there's some... There's potentially some debate in terms of the actual placement of some of these players and maybe their overall ratings, but I think that the top five, for the most part, I would pretty much agree with these. Uh, you might be able to make a case for a player or two, but I still think overall it's pretty good. So let's take a look at these top five players. Starting off at number five, we have Miami Dolphins strong safety Rashad Jones, and he is 89 overall. What it says about him is that former fifth round pick Rashad Jones rounds out the top five with equally impressive ratings in Madden 15. Players love his 88 hit power and 86 speed for run-stopping support, but feel comfortable when stopping the pass with his 79 zone coverage ability. So obviously, Rashad Jones is a pretty solid overall safety. Uh, 86 speed for Mutt would be pretty garbage, but for standard Madden, that's actually pretty solid. And then the 88 hit power is very nice. So like they said, he's going to be able to lay the wood. If guys go over the middle, he's going to be able to force in completions. He's going to do a pretty good job against tight ends too, which I think is something that we really, really need out of our strong safeties. If you're somebody like me who really trusts them to be kind of that middle of the field general or to potentially be the guy that stops the corner routes and things like that, your safety has to be able to make hits. And thankfully, Rashad Jones is going to be able to do that. The Miami defense overall with guys like Cameron Wake and, and that are actually pretty solid. I'm imagining that, that Brent Grimes is going to be a pretty good cornerback as well. Although he didn't crack the top five, I wouldn't be surprised to see him right outside the top five. And so overall, the Miami Dolphins defense might be pretty good. Their offense, on the other hand, of course, uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. But they do have Mike Wallace and they do have Ryan Tannehill with the big arms. So Miami could be a team that you see people using in Madden 15. Next next player, I keep saying card. I have to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm just in this Madden, uh, the uh, Ultimate Team game mode all the time. And it just kind of like throws me off. I forget that the other part of Madden even exists. So, although I know it's still way bigger than Ultimate Team. It's just that, you know, I've kind of been playing Ultimate Team for a couple months now. And that's pretty much exclusively what I've been playing. So I say cards sometimes, but really what I mean is just the player itself. So number four, we move on to Eric Berry. Eric Berry of the Kansas City Chiefs. He is 90 overall. And here's what it says about him. Madden players love Barry's above average speed of 92 and agility of 90 at the strong safety position, which puts him at the center of every play. If you need him to make a tackle, he has 83 or a big hit, he has 88, which is I'm assuming hit power. He can do it. If you need him to support with coverage, he also has that. That is an 88. Now, I'm assuming that they mean zone coverage. They don't specifically indicate here on easports.com, but that would be pretty much what most safeties are in. They're very rarely in man coverage. There's not a whole lot of guys like Devin McCourty who are actually going to be able to play in man coverage and in zone coverage. But uh, Eric Berry overall sounds pretty damn good. 92 speed, I love to see that. He is significantly faster than Rashad Jones, who again was only an 86. Um, the one thing though that I really question here about Eric Berry is that he's only 90 overall. Now, as someone who makes fun of Eric Berry a lot, like myself, uh, I tend to really make fun of the fact that the Chiefs defense was kind of a joke in the second half of the year after they got to play a whole bunch of just garbage quarterbacks through the first half of the year. Uh, I think they finished their season at like, what, two and seven in their final nine games. So I make a lot of jokes about the Chiefs, but I think that Eric Berry probably deserves to be higher than 90 overall. I mean, if you're going to put him in your top five and you're going to go based off of the fact that he had a productive year last year in terms of stats um i think he has to be above a 90 overall i would i would at least like to see him as a 92 overall 
Um, I know we don't want to stack it too high with too many great players in this game, but when you see some of the attributes of the guys that are ranked above him, him here in the top three, I think you guys might agree with me. So let's move on to number three, and that is Denver Broncos free agency acquisition, TJ Ward. Now it says, new to the Broncos, TJ Ward adds some hard-nosed football to the Denver secondary. With an impressive 92 hit power, 88 tackle, and 86 speed, Ward hits the hole and shuts down the opponent's run game. Despite his run-stopping mentality, his coverage and pursuit ratings aren't too shabby at 84 and 86 respectively. So 84 zone coverage for TJ Ward, that's pretty... To me, that sounds kind of low. They say it's not too shabby, but to me, that sounds a little bit low. The 92 hit power, though, is going to be monstrous. He's going to be able to lay some serious hits on guys. That is four higher than Rashad Jones. So uh, he is one of definitely the biggest hitters here at the strong safety position, and he is going to be a nice acquisition for the Denver defense. They really have struggled at safety over the past couple of seasons with Peyton Manning at quarterback, and you saw in that playoff game against the Ravens when all things were going very, very well for them. They should have been on their way to, another, to their Super Bowl, and instead they allow the deep ball and were never able to make it two years ago. So TJ Ward could be the kind of player that would eventually stop that. He's definitely going to be a guy who will help them in run support as well. And he definitely will help you in run support in Madden. So that's always good to see. But I think at 91 overall, I think he might be just a little bit overrated. I'm not saying that he's a bad player or anything, but I, I think I would probably switch him and Eric Berry personally. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, number two. This is a player that I think is getting pretty highly overrated. And although I still love him as a player, uh, and I, I will always have respect for him for everything that he's done, the way that he innovates the position and things like that. Troy Polamalu of the Pittsburgh Steelers at 93 overall. I, I just, I don't agree with it anymore. I think he's lost a step. I don't think he's still the player that he used to be. And maybe he'll come out here and prove me wrong here in 2014. But... I didn't see it in 2013. I don't think he was the elite strong safety that we've seen for years and years now. I do think, like I said, that he's a little bit overrated, but here's what they say about him. Troy Polamalu has been one of Madden's top players for years, and his ratings reflect that. His combination of 88 speed, 92 agility, 91 play recognition, and 85 pursuit puts him all over the field. As you would expect, he has the skills to lay the boom when needed with 84 hit power and can even make a ridiculous interception with 87 spectacular catch. Now, Paul Malu, of course, is known for making some big time hits and he's known for making incredible interceptions. But I think the things that he is really best at are the play recognition, the pursuit, uh, the awareness, those type of things should be high on him. 88 speed, I think, is a little bit high for him. I don't think he's faster than a guy like TJ Ward at this point in his career. And for him to be rated, what, I think he was, what, yeah, he's higher than Rashad Jones in speed. I just, I don't think so anymore. I think he's a little bit overrated, and I think it's just Madden kind of saying, kind of doing a little tip to the hat here to Troy Polamalu as a player who has graced the cover of the game before when he was on it with Larry Fitzgerald. And, you know, to me, I just don't think he's worth the 93 overall rating at this point. I wouldn't necessarily argue with him still being a top five free safe or strong safety. But at the same time, I don't think he deserves to be number two. Actually, you know, what's funny is that he's actually tied for number one in terms of just the overall rating. But the guy that they actually have ranked above him, at least on the list, is, of course, Cam Chancellor. Now, Cam Chancellor is an incredible strong safety. He is all over the field, and I think his ratings are going to reflect that. It says, Bam Bam Cam is a big hitting machine with 97 hit power and 85 tackling, rounding out the position with 84 zone coverage. Cam uses his 84 speed and 88 pursuit to get involved with stopping the run game. Now, Cam Chancellor is 93 overall and like i said he's tied with troy palomalu at 93 overall i would personally rank him more around the 95 overall rank because i think that he is every bit as good as the players that you see that are rated that high at other positions i mean you could make a case that cam chancellor is the best strong safety or the best best overall safety in the entire game and to me 
I think that when you have a player like that, I know they don't, again, same thing with Earl Thomas in the free safety side. I know they don't want to overrate this, the uh, Seattle secondary, but they were like the most dominant secondary that we've seen in years and years and years here in Madden or in, in real life. And Madden should reflect that. But he does have that 97 hit power, hit power. I think the 84 speed is a little bit underrated, and it's going to make him a little bit tougher to use. But he is going to be an absolute beast with laying the hits. Uh, I don't know that there will be many players in the entire game that have higher than that 97 hit power. So that's going to be a lot of fun to use. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you press that like button and let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about these ratings? Do you think any of them are overrated? Who got snubbed? Let me know who you think got snubbed. And I hope to see that in the comment section. I'll try and converse with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.